In today's video, I want to show you how the Behringer Neutron and the Behringer 904A voltage controlled filter get on. The spoiler is, I think they work together really well. So let's get to it. The MIDI lead from the Korg I just used to prime the Neutron with a note. By putting the SQ1 onto step jump, then just holding down a button will play the note. So that's now primed the Neutron with its start note. Right, for the connections, CV1 going into VCO1 and 2 for the voltage control. And I've got the gates going into envelope 1, which also goes to envelope 2 input. Then I've got VCO1 and 2 output going to the signal in on the 904A. I take the signal out from the 904A and that feeds into the input for the VCA, the voltage controlled amplifier. And I, for the output, I take the output of the VCA, which goes direct to my mixing desk. The reason for that is I'm trying to bypass the overdrive and bypass the delay and also bypass the internal filter. Now the other connections I've got to add a little bit of interest, I've got the LFO, I've got the bidirectional output comes out, goes through an attenuator, comes out the attenuator and goes to VCO2. That's to get a bit of drift going between the two. The attenuator setting is very low. It's just enough to get them to uh, phase a bit. The unidirectional output from the LFO goes to another attenuator and the output from that attenuator goes into the um, VCF control input. So that's just to give it a little bit of change of brightness. And again, it's fairly low on the attenuator. And the other one we have is the output of envelope two going to the control input for the filter so that we can modulate the cutoff frequency with the envelope. And for the oscillators, got them both set to sawtooth and they're an octave apart. So they're tuned, the mix is 50-50. Let's listen to what it sounds like. Thank you. 
status are drifting. And they're the same frequency. You can hear it a lot clearer. So just for comparison, I've instead of taking the signal out from there, I'm now feeding the VCF, the internal VCF, to the VCA input. It's a bit of unfair comparison because the output from this V6 
BCF is definitely louder than the output from this one but even so you can tell that this has a lot more warmth it's a lot more solid at the low end compared to the internal now one thing that this one has that the 904a doesn't have is this one you can control the the resonance with a control voltage whereas with this one you can't all you can control is the cutoff but the reason why why i'm messing around with all of this uh, analog stuff is that i'm trying to make a sound engine a true analog sound engine for the roland a30 the a30 has motion sensors in it and it has additional things like this uh, thumb pad here and so that's in addition to all the usual note playing abilities that it has so if you want to see the aerophone in action my entry for the january event is coming up as a link and you can see me using the uh, the motion sensor to control the voltage controlled filter on the neutron so if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like me to make more like this then please let me know by clicking the like button and leaving a comment and until next time take care